to get a little bread. Still outside, I don't hide from the. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that beat in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, what you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that beat in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Thank you. A new phase of their friendship. Great story, DA. Thank you. you. And the Bull start out with the ball. So the next starting five. In the backcourt, it's Simmons and Curry. O'Neal is out there with Durant, and it's Claxton in at the center, locking down the middle. Curry on the wing. Outside Durant. And there has, Greg, been some talk within the league about adding a midseason tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for, but love now, I can see why they're considering it. Vucevic is screen on Curry. Bean passes to Vucevic. And now here's Durant, the fast break opportunity. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Steve, you got to respect Royce O'Neal's consistency from beyond the arc. Kevin, he takes shots he knows he can hit. And it keeps his three-point percentage above average season to season. And defensively, Chicago's so solid. Steve, they don't gamble a lot. They just get the job done. Kevin, they do. Well, how they get it done, they rely on their intelligence. Good communication at that end. Could they be more disruptive? Maybe. But they play to their identity. Now, here's Durant. After the miss from Vucevic. Outside, Simmons. Back to KD. They set the pick. Six on the shot clock. Down low. Here's Claxton. And he banks in the lane. I still marvel at the guard level skills for a player that size of Kevin Durant. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Levine. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Simmons against Caruso. Left side, Curry. That's tipped. Six to shoot. And stolen by Simmons. Claxton. And the layup is good. Claxton's got his second basket of the game. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Nets. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. Now here's Curry. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Two points, that one goes. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Smitty, we've seen Nikola Vucevic add a three-point shot to his arsenal. This is a shot he didn't have early on in his career. But GA, as the game has continued to evolve, so has Vucevic. Recognizing bigs like him have to be able to stretch the floor. He's a steady double-double threat. Vooch continues to be a productive big man with an impressive skill set. Andre Drummond's checked in for Williams. Then for the Nets, T.J. Warren comes in for Kevin Durant. And Joe Harris is subbed in for Seth Curry. Bulls trail by nine. On the wing, DeRozan. He's covered by Warren. DeRozan passes to Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. 
Jamar is a magnet for defensive attention. You see the overreaction leading to a wide open man. For Brooklyn, they've got all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Harris dishes to Simmons. Harris setting the pick for Simmons. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Throws down the alley oop slam. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. And Vucevic kicks to Levine. No good on the three. The Nets on offense. They're on a 14-5 run here. It's stolen by Vucevic. DeRozan against Warren. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Big time play by Vuce. Rising up and hammering it down. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Caruso against Simmons. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And now the first time I've called here for the Bulls. So for the Bulls, Green is checked in for Vucevic. Kobe White comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. Thomas checked in for Brooklyn. Edmund Sumner comes in for Ben Simmons. And Brooklyn has possession. After Zach Levine missed from long range. Pass to Harris. Takes the three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Bulls trail by nine. White the pass to Levine. A beautiful reverse layup. Good heads up basketball from Kobe. Spots a wide open shooter and gets it to him. 43 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Sumner. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Outside Warren. Lets it go from deep. And it's White with the rebound. Bulls have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50 percent. Bean passes to Green. That one goes. It's counted. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Knocked away. And the foul called on Ayo Dosunu. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. And so it's Brooklyn with it. It's a five-point game. Here's Warren. Nice move. He lays it in. Showing some assertiveness inside. Warren knows you can't beat the defense if you play scared. Here's White. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One of the areas where he has excelled all season long. How about 87% from the line? Kobe White might be new to the league, but he doesn't play like it. Confidence and ability are beyond his years. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. It's the Nets leading by four. And we'll get going after this from United Center. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble. So far, they've rolled the dice, and it's paid off. And after that trade request this summer, Kevin Durant still a Brooklyn Net. The offers weren't enough to move the needle. And the decision was made to run it back. One thing's for sure. When you've got KD, you've got a chance. So for Brooklyn now, Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five. Simmons is out there with Thomas. And it's Warren in at the three. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. Katie says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but 
If you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us along this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. Great. David, thank you. The Bulls have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight, and that one falls for White. And you hear the term point forward, but then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson, 6'9", but still a point guard. So what's the difference? Well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. Vujovic finds DeRozan. Back to Vucevic. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got three assists tonight. Solid play from Vuce in the paint, using his physical advantage to get to his shot. Here's KD. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on DeRozan. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Great. What do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. Simmons dishes to Durant. Drops in the layup for two. KD's got five now. KD's height and length make him a nightmare. He can easily get a shot off. Arderosen on the wing. Vucevic is screen on Thomas. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. The pass to Vucevic. Out to White. Vucevic is screen on Curry. White dishes to Vucevic. The shot's good. Now just a one-point Brooklyn lead. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's KD. And then Durant with the dunk. Well, we know Simmons can do this. At 6'11", I don't know that anyone in the league has his vision. Chicago calls timeout. And here in the second quarter of action with a hit under two and a half minutes played so far. Williams, a screen on Simmons. Caruso with the ball. He's picked up by KD. Nets leading by three. Pass to Simmons. He kicks it to O'Neal. Curry on the wing. Screen by O'Neal. Clock is at three. Off target from outside. For Chicago, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Back to Vucevic. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was not their last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters, and that led to some big-time rejections. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters uncomfortable by challenging every possible shot. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Javante Green comes in for Patrick Williams. Levine's checked in for Kobe White. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for Chicago? The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense. Forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. Two shots. All three throws good from Warren. How about the job Billy Donovan has done? Under 500 in his first season, but took the Bulls to the playoffs in his second year at the helm. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. 
On the wing, Levine, guarded by Kerr. And Green with the basket on the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists tonight. Lots of pieces have been added to this Bulls roster. For Donovan, you were just talking about him, to work with, coach, and lead. He has done a good job. They have a great mix, Kevin, of veteran leadership and young talent. Donovan has been able to mix and match to keep guys fresh. It worked well for him in the playoffs last year. Just couldn't find an answer for Giannis and the Bucks. 55 seconds left in the first half. Here's DeRozan. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris inside, guarded by Levine. Harris misses. High percentage look for him, but bottom line, they're not all going to go down. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Steve, it's been tremendous to see Zach Levine reach his all-star potential in recent years. Kevin, you can tell he's loving it too, right? But yeah, this was a long time coming. He's at the top of his game, earning his spot among the best players in this league, Kevin. And the first one drops. It's almost hard to believe that Zach Levine is still getting better, but he really is maturing into his game and getting sharper as a player. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Nets passing it around. Or in the pass to Claxton. A lot of give and take between these sides early. Yeah, and both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Dishes it to Levine. And DeRozan kicks to Levine. DeRozan against Harris. Count it good. DeRozan's got the lead up to one now for Chicago. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Nikola Vucevic firing on all cylinders for Chicago. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Nick, what changed as the first half continued? Uh, we, uh, we toughened up a little bit. We know we were, they were getting a lot of easy points, a lot of points around the paint, uh, around the basket. And we just started playing more aggressive, playing hard on the defensive end, and that got us uh, going offensively, too. So we just got to keep doing that, play hard, and uh, should be fine. Keeping the paint tight is key. Thanks very much, Nick. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hey folks, first off, looking ahead to All-Star Weekend, let's see who's in the running to compete in the three-point contest. Although it's a little early, it's fun to just think about the three-point contest. Those guys can shoot the rock, Ernie. The three-point shot has never been more important to offenses. That makes these guys that much more impressive. And let's take a look back at the first half. The Bulls are in a close one. You look at the play of their bench, this second unit is doing exactly what coach is looking for. It's a luxury to have this kind of support. 
I mean, I know we talk about team depth all the time, but that's been the difference tonight. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, Vucevic, guys, has been exceptional. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Caruso in at the one. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one, -on -one, dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying, and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Good advice. David, thanks. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Pass to Claxton. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got five. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail box. And Smitty, in that 21-22 season, Martin Rosen proved to be one of the top closers in our game. You're totally right, G.A. He led the NBA in fourth quarter points and finished second in clutch scoring. He embraced the challenge and thrived playing the role of the hero. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Simmons against Corso. Pass to Durant. Goes up on the wing. It doesn't go for him. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Goes and dishes to Williams. Caruso, the pass to Levine. Off target with his three. After hitting three straight, they finally miss one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. Here's Curry. And the Nets miss again. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. The lead is two, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A competitor, Alex Caruso, making things happen. It's his first trip to the line. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. And the Bulls making a change here. White's checked in, and a change for the Nets. Thomas is checked in. Nets trail by three. Simmons passes to KD. Simmons, a screen on Levine. Durant kicks to Thomas. Off target from three-point range. The Bulls have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. White dishes to Levine. And the Bulls get it back. Out to White. Williams has a screen for Caruso. Shot clock at six. Shots good by Williams. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Outside, Simmons. There's the pass to Katie. There's the screen. And again, it's the Nets missing. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Williams, a screen on Thomas. Right the pass to Williams. Buries it down low. Now it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. 
Brooklyn's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Timeout call the Nets. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Some changes for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Patrick Williams. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. The Nets also changing it up. Warren's checked in for Royce O'Neal. Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Simmons. It just has a knack for finding openings in the defense. You could describe Warren as opportunistic. All free throws good from Warren. The Bulls leading by five. 143 left in the third. Levine outside green. Now here's Dosumu. Green, no luck. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Sumner kicks to Thomas. Can't hit that one. So the Bulls will take it the other way. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Levine dishes to Drummond. Conan. Drummond's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. This is it to Thomas. Harris outside. Outside Warren. Goes up at the stripe, and the shot is good. Warren's got 12 in the game. What a performance so far from Warren. When he gets hot, he can be really productive, and he has been hot. Levine, good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Nets trail by seven. 29 seconds left to play here in the third. Thomas with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet for him. And it's sent back by Truman. Harris against Levine. Truman passes to Green. A three. It's hauled in by Harris. Let's the three fly, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the Chicago Bulls headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision and it takes good decision making right there. He showed both and he did so at a very high level. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Here's Caruso. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Durant is out there with T.J. Warren. Then it's Simmons. Then there's Harris. And it's O'Neal. And at the five, down low. And he gets it to go. Vucevic has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Chicago. Next trail by nine. Long pass to Warren. And no good that time. And Chicago shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. Dosunmu, the pass to Williams. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Looking ahead to their next game, playing at New Orleans, they'll match up against the Pelicans. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. And DeRozan, here we go. You have to love the way DeRozan went at the rim. He knows he's at his best when he's the aggressor. 
We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Timeout called the Nets. the New Balance player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. This is as good a game as we've seen him play. And this crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. During that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear Steve Nash talking to his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting out worked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Then we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Okay, David, much appreciated. Vucevic against Warren. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And when Vucevic is putting it all together, it's fun to watch. Do your thing, big fella. Simmons finds Durant. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And that one, good. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Williams passes to DeRozan. Count that bucket. DeRozan's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Nets have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Warren is screen on DeRozan. And Durant launches from deep. It's all in by the Bulls. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And Simmons kicks to KD. Let's it go from 14. Curry can't get it to go. Chicago leading by 13. Rosen dishes to Williams. Count that one. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been a tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Here's Durant. The 18-footer is right on the mark. If you give KD the mid-range, he'll take it. He's an efficient scorer from pretty much anywhere. Martin DeRozan on the win. Guarded by KD. Oh, Vucevic in position. Stolen by Durant. Outside Curry. Outside Warren. It's up a three, and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. A diverse skill set makes Warren an offensive threat. Perimeter shooting is just one of the tricks up his sleeve. KD against DeRozan. The dish to Williams. Stolen by Warren. Outside Durant. Offline with his three. The Bulls leading by 10. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys. It will turn out to be a win here for Chicago. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game apiece. Still, two more to go in the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Vucevic. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. Here's Chicago. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter, and they get it back. Williams against Warren. Stolen by Warren. Shot from six. Nice deep from Levine. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. DeRozan passes to Levine. 
Vucevic a screen on Warren. Feeds to Vucevic. It's hauled in by Warren. And here is Simmons. They get a hand on it. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. Yeah, and it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks a lot. Nick, how did you guys get this win tonight? We were really good on defense, and then uh, once we get stops, we're very good on offense. We got some easy ones, and uh, we just kept grinding, you know. We never let it back in the game, and uh, it felt good to get this one tonight. Great performance by you guys, Nick. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.